All right guys, today I'm gonna to give you some racquetball hand-eye drills that you can do. Most of these are gonna be drills that I do on game day to get ready for a game that I'm playing in. And um, you can do these every day before or after practice as much as you'd like. So uh, let's get into it. First one is just simple juggling. I, I'll say this, juggling really isn't a hand-eye skill, but I like the rhythm, I think it's fun. Gets the hands going a little bit. Challenge yourself. Not very good though. Next, I just do simple hand tracking off of the wall. I personally like to throw the ball off the wall until it hits the ground, and now I'm reading that ball off of the ground the same way I would read a puck off of the ice. I know some guys like to do this. That's fine too. This is just how I've always done it, and I want to simulate reading the ball the same or as, as close to reading a puck as possible. So I like to go, and again, we're just focusing on good tracking habits here, shifting and leaning into the saves on the glove side. I'm going to use my glove just so I'm catching it in that pocket. Now, after you do a few of those, you can close your eyes, and then once you hear it hit the wall, open your eyes, find that ball. Set a little bit more purple, be on the upper side, make sure we're shifting, leaning over top of that save, eyes closed. Obviously on the blocker side, we wouldn't be catching it, but we're still just trying to simulate that nice little lean and wrist tilt like we would on our blocker saves. From there, if we go belly saves, okay. Same thing, eyes open, same thing, six hole, okay? Just trying to put that ball between your arm and squeeze in, okay? You can do that, eyes open, eyes closed as well. After that, we go two ball rapid fire. So go ahead and start slow and work your speed up. I like to go forward and back, feet to center. Our next few, you're gonna need a racquetball with some numbers and letters on it. Let's see here. We've got numbers and letters all over this ball. First variation is we're trying to see how many numbers, letters we can pick up on it on the ball's way back to us. So after it hits the wall, I'm gonna try and see how many letters and numbers I can read. We'll do that on the glove and blocker side. You can even call them out. Two. If you can, the goal is to see at least one, but if you can see two to three, that's great. B, four, three, A1, B2, three and on the glove side. Three, four, three, four, one, two, A. Okay, now same thing, except we're gonna get on our knees and now we're gonna toss that ball higher. And now we're gonna try and read how many numbers and letters we can see on its way to the wall. So now I'm tracking this ball away from me. The last one, we were tracking it towards ourselves. Now we're gonna track away. So I'm just tossing it up. And as that ball's going up, I'm trying to see how many numbers and letters I can read. A. Four, one, three. Four, A. The last one I like to do is with this little reaction ball. Um, I know some guys that will throw it against the wall. I find that that just makes it kind of go all over the place. So this is what I like to do. Just kind of getting my hip hinge here uh, as I would be in my butterfly. And I like to take the ball above my head and then I drop it. And now I'm just kind of reacting to where it goes. I, we don't want to get in the habit of stabbing at, the, at this ball but it's more so about just reacting to where it's going and trying to get a little lean and shift in there as well.
I like to lock my eyes and hold that ball in place for a second after I grab it. And I also like to try and catch it with only my fingertips. Okay, there you have it guys. If you have any questions, let me know.